Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And today we're going to be talking about Money Libok, who is starting for the Springboks on Saturday in Imbambela, as the Rusty Rasmus has backed his blah half and has addressed the uh, the talk, the concerns, as well as the sort of outrage surrounding that missed penalty over the weekend and has spoken about First of all, how important Money Box still is for the team as well as what some of the contingency plans and how they might navigate this sort of continued uh, goal-kicking issue that surrounds Money Box and it's kind of become a bit of a cloud surrounding his Springbok career. Because he's had a very Springbok, good Springbok career as, as far, to be honest. If you look at the amount of games he's played, for example, the amount of wins he's had, what he's won in a short time, a, 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 a short space of time, you know, a, a World Cup, for example, you know, was part of the, the record win against New Zealand at uh, Twickenham. He's had some very good moments in the Spring Mark jersey, but he's also had some very frustrating moments. Majority because of his uh, kicking off the tee. And this is something that continues to sort of follow him around. But... Uh, What's very interesting is that as the entire sort of world, rugby world, and, and South Africa sort of falls apart about his goal kicking, about the fact that he's not good enough to play for South Africa, for example, shouldn't be given another chance, you know, should be sent back to the Stormers. His head coach, Rusty Rasmus, has backed him now more than ever. And uh, that is a very, very important thing to, to start with, the fact that they've gone from having him being criticized throughout the, the last couple of days to then say, right, you're going to start him in Mombela. And... This is where I think the coaches and the coaches and the management have become so good with regards to trusting their players and getting the best most out of their players because it would be very easy to bin Money Debuck, for example. We've seen players who've had sort of nightmare games, never play international rugby again, for example, or you know, have a couple of bad moments and then gonna get lost to the system. They've gone the opposite. They've completely said, right, no, we're still back and we still think that he's incredibly valuable for us and uh, he's going to be our starting fly up on a Saturday. And Rusty Rasmus gave his, a, a press conference yesterday, his team announced press conference, and spoke about that. Obviously, he was always going to be asked about it. And uh, has said that uh, they're very relaxed about it as a situation. Because this is what he said as well. He said that we as a team had a little laugh at the memes and stuff that went around. You see, we see it as, as people who haven't been through that and haven't felt that kind of pressure don't know how tough it is. Uh, which is a good point. He says, we totally understand that people will criticize. He takes it on the chin, and as the management staff, we all take it on the chin. But the only way to get a guy like him through this is to get him back onto the horse and ride until it's flat again. He said, Money's a professional. We're professionals, and we've all raided around him, and he's starting this weekend, getting another chance with a guy like Andre on the bench. Uh, so speaking about the fact that there is that option to sort of go go back to it. Now, what's more important almost is, you know, you've got to be able to learn from these things. So this is what Rusty Rasmus has said as well. He said, we've made plans the way we want to play Money is integral this weekend, and we've made some other plans with the goal kicking, which hopefully will work. He said, Money hasn't been ju chosen, ju hasn't just been chosen to kick. The way he plays is the way we think we can match the Argentinians at a level at which they try to play. Money's a guy who's been through deep waters. One or two memes or jokes that people wo uh, make won't affect him. He said, His reality is that when he's with us, we understand why people would feel like that. It's our job to help him get it right, and we're busy doing that. Now, the, what are those contingencies, you might ask? Well, yesterday during the training session, the first open training session of the week, both Jaden Hendricks as well as Cheslin Colby were pictured uh, practicing their kicking for goal. Now, I've spoken about Jaden Hendricks quite a lot. He has actually taken a kick for goal for the Springboks, but uh, he kicked the SA under 20 uh, all those years ago. And, uh, you know, he's never needed to kick from a club at international level. But from what I saw in his at under 20, he's, he's quite a competent goal kicker. Chesney Colby is somebody who sort of had to add that to his, uh, his repertoire, I suppose, as his sort of career has gone by. And he's done it for the box a couple of times. So the main thing is they're trying to say there are options. Now, we've got this continued debate. You know, do you now have to ask players who, you know, don't kick for their clubs and this is not their main talent to now try and step up and add an additional skill because of a lack of skill set in a player who plays a fly off who, you know, traditionally does kick? And where do you sort of weigh it up? Now, it's, an, it's, it's a difficult one. You know, Moy Liebach, for example, makes us a better attacking team. I don't think it's an opinion these days. I think it's just a fact. The stats are there, for example. We attack better. We look more dangerous when he plays. But the test match rugby also can be decided by, you know, conversions, penalties, tight games, the likes. Uh, far more so sometimes than, than club level. And that's kind of what makes test rugby so special. You know, it is set pieces, for example. It's small margins. It's fun. It's, it's big moments. And we saw that this past weekend. So you can't get away from the goal-kicking issues. But 
you do have to start weighing it up and I mean, look at options, you know, because this is more than just maybe a Monty Leibok issue. You know, they talked about the fact that David Vilimsa has sometimes been an option at 10. Now, he's also not had the best goal kicking uh, record. So you've got a Satchel Palmer Gomez, you've got a Hondre Pollard, for example, who is really good. Funny enough, everybody's not going talking about uh, Jordan Hendricks after slotting that 59 meter penalty in the Curry Cup final. Ironically, when he made his debut in, in June for the box, he missed a really, really straightforward penalty. Uh, something that he had never missed. In a, in a club game or the likes. And, uh, you know, it just goes to show you what sort of test rugby and, and sometimes, you know, situations might do to you. So, you know, Monty for me is a player of confidence and uh, he is a player that can do things that other players can't. You know, we saw the no-look cross kick, for example, during Scotland. We see moments he's had in the Bok jersey, but he can't get away from the, from the goal kicking. Now, this is the last game for a while for the box. So I like the fact that they're giving him an opportunity. And I think he really needs to take it with both hands. I think he has a positive game this weekend. He goes on the end of year tour. If he struggles this weekend and Jordan Hendrickson starts playing, Seema Suka starts playing really well, then I think we might see a change at the end of year tour. Because, you know, Rusty Rasmus has already brought those two players in. And if they're sort of outperforming Monty Nibok in the club level, then, you know, you look at their, their, their ages, for example. You look at the fact we've only got an additional two full years before the World Cup. And maybe decisions might have to make. So it's not like... This, you, you like to think it's not a do or die situation for Monty Ebok this weekend, but the fact is, and the reality is, if he has a bad game this weekend, he might find it difficult to to make the Springbok start. On the, on, the, on, the, on the flip side, if he sort of pulls off and has this tremendous game, Jaden Henderson, for example, kicks from goal, and you you know we have this incredible uh, game, a combination that suddenly is bored, and then all of a sudden you look and say, right, well, maybe we've got options. So it's going to be an interesting one this weekend. Where do you stand with this? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.